All right, started off a little bit cold and it warmed up. Yeah, so a little bit of sunshine out there mm -hmm. and a little bit more than I originally thought. That's the good news because that uh, put those afternoon highs close to 60 degrees across the area today. A few we'll degrees warmer than what you typically get. Here's a look at the almanac for the day. You can see the morning start off on the cold side, so a lot of those runners that were out there did have to brave some of those bitter cold temperatures. The good news is winds I thought were fairly or relatively light here, so wind chill is not a big issue this morning, only back into the mid 20s, to upper 20s for the air temperature actually felt like, but Man, what an afternoon out there. Once the sun broke out, we were pretty good. Still a little bit of moisture moving through the mid-levels of the atmosphere. Not a lot of that making it to the ground, but cloud cover really evident throughout the southern tier of the state. Some thin clouds out there, and for the most part, I do anticipate to see a partly cloudy sky as we head through your overnight hours. Hometown temperatures are in the 40s here at the present hour from New Florence over towards St. Martin in the 50s from Max Creek over towards Lebanon and Fort Linwood right now at 55 degrees. We're looking at a cloudy sky with a southeast wind at 3 miles an hour. Some more specifics for the capital. It's 50 degrees, a southeast wind there at 3 miles an hour, dew point at 27, and the pressure is on the rise for Columbia, partly cloudy, 44 degrees and an east-northeast wind there presently at 7 miles per hour. At least in the midsection of the U.S., this is where we're finding a lot more of those warmer temperatures. In the 40s here, throughout the central plains, some 50s still out there. It's all those around here, Little Rock currently at 50 degrees, and even relatively mild as you look towards the northern tier, from Des Moines back up towards the Dakotas. Temperatures still in the upper 30s and into the lower 40s. Big area high pressure controlling the central part of the U.S., keeping the skies clear. A breakdown in that with the short wave moving out of the four corners is bringing us a little bit more of that moisture. Again, relatively dry air at our surface. That's why we're not seeing a lot of that moisture making it all the way to the ground, but the cloud cover is still out there. Futurecast is going to put a little bit of cloud cover in your forecast for tomorrow as well, starting tomorrow afternoon. And as that moves through, it is a small, small chance that we may see a few sprinkles fall out of those clouds. Otherwise, just look for predominantly warm conditions as you look throughout the rest of the year. Sunday and head into your Monday, stronger winds out of the south will send those temperatures early next week into the 70s. In the morning when you wake up, a partly cloudy sky. Temperatures in the low to mid 30s, 36 for Rolla, similar for Columbia. By the afternoon, though, we're going to get close to the 60 degree mark. And if we don't see quite as much cloud cover, very easily we could see the mid 60s by tomorrow as well. The cloud cover is going to be the key. South winds tomorrow, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Looking into early next week, 74 your Monday, mostly cloudy sky. How about that St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> that leprechaun is one happy fella, I tell you sure that. Sunny is. sky, 72 on Tuesday. We'll start to see a changes come late in the day on Wednesday as when the cold front sweeps back through the area. That'll spark another chance for some showers and cool temperatures back down to the seasonal averages heading into next weekend, but we are on an uphill climb in that temperature department through middle of the week. Looks nice. Enjoy it. Yes, that forecast is a nice departure for us, yes. isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Zach.